Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm very tired, but <laughs> nearing the end. <laughs> the end. Yeah, yeah. The it's just gonna be over. Nothing else will happen after you know this weekend. Just time ends. <laughs> yeah. How about you? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. I uh have been working on this bug in Emacs. Oh and, yeah. And um, I feel pretty good about. Uh, I wrote a bunch of code to characterize how it currently works. Yeah. And it looks like it's working. It's coming along nicely. Um, yeah. Let's see. And right now, I I mentioned yesterday that I was working on a thing for uh, my um, my technical setup here oh man it's not quite looking how it did yesterday looks a little blurry why is it blurry um hmm. how do i get it to be the right size fit window to the content. <laughs> all right i think that's as good as i can get it for now and i will share that screen um oh i'm gonna have to stop there we go yeah share this one ta-da oh there you go oh I, oh that's so fun are you using like obs with the layover yeah i couldn't yeah. make it into a yeah. virtual camera but i found out that i can um i have an area of the i i share the whole desktop then yeah. I share, then I crop that, and that's where yeah. I've put the Emacs window, but I can, like, move yeah. other windows on top of it, like this window. Yeah, 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 uh, I've got a... So now I, gotta... I can do that, and uh, I can do my video uh, overlay, yeah. yeah. You've got what now? Uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, a VTuber, because <laughs> I'm an idiot and I do stupid projects. But yeah, I'm very familiar with OBS and uh and it's super fun. So <laughs> What is VTuber? It's like a virtual, it's like a little uh it's an animated 3D sprite that is a okay. character. Uh like a really popular one is Nanners. Um she's like super big. And then there's like the whole V Shoujo studio. But anyway, it's like that. It does face tracking and stuff. And it's just like a dumb anime character. But anyway, I do it for, for hobby stuff. Cool. Oh. It's stupid, but... <laughs> it's really fun when you get it working, though. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. it like, it's an avatar that you control just by moving your face around or something? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I don't I don't have my setup going. Otherwise, I boot it up because it's, it's highly entertaining. Uh... But it's it's dumb. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So, is this uh, that same class as before? This is the same class as before. This is the last thing we have to do. Well, that's good. And <laughs> yes, I can't wait to be done with it. Um, I don't like the assignments I've seen so far. They've, they've been, been pretty like, bad, right? <laughs> Yeah. They've been so bad. I I was like, this is the one class that I actually like dread doing stuff for, which is very rare for me. Um, because usually it's kind of fun. This is just like awful. Uh and the worst part is for this assignment, it was just a PDF and then some slides that are like, I didn't I didn't send you the slides. They're like pretty abysmal. Okay. Like like we get like this as an example. Um, which is like, okay. Uh, I, I see. Make... So at yeah, first like I thought this... maybe the screen share wasn't working correctly, but now I'm no. realizing that's what the slides. That's literally what it was. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. Right. Isn't this bad? Uh, no, no code in lecture. We got this. And I was like, man, 
am i burnt out my professor must be like damn wow this and is so advanced that i just don't understand it <laughs> yeah that okay. was the perfect well, reaction for it yeah so public class music context music state oh yeah i remember uh i reviewed a little bit when i was writing the the short little blurb about what we did last time gotcha um, yeah the the builder pattern that we looked at on the internet was slightly yeah. different than the builder pattern that we ended up actually writing on the internet they used a builder pattern where the builder just held a bunch of information about what options to right. create and okay. the builder that we made actually created an instance of the object and right. then um modified that object and then returned the completed object right um so i don't know if that matters um, well so this one is like so we still have <gasps> go back we still have so we have the other things we made and then i uh we did a little bit more with it we also made um these there were like a couple other things that i did but i was able to do them on my own it was fine and straightforward rad um did you get any confirmation that what we did is what they expected uh yeah i think yeah yeah uh, there's like one thing that that isn't graded but it was like a lab assignment um yeah so that was fine uh actually i take up quite a lot of room in the i'm gonna shrink myself <laughs> That's so cool. I, OBS is, is fantastic. It's some it really, is. really cool piece of software. It's super duper. All right. So uh, so I have the PDF and I have... So you're going to show me like what uh, what changes you made? Uh, so, so what's new now is yeah. we are creating... Uh, we are creating what they call a combat state and a combat context that then uses uh, combat to make these classes fight each other and do things. And so okay. they're, they're, they want us to implement it with what they call like the state pattern. And like their example is that uh, we talked about like an ATM has all of these states, but at each state, it's not aware of what it's doing. Um, so it's this idea of, the logic of changing states is handled by, I believe, your context. And then uh, the other example they give us, hold on, is this is like the bad way, they say. But they want you to have, you have like a music state. This has your your actions where you're pressing play and like stopping and starting music. And then uh, the context is what we end up using to like handle the switching. Because uh, you don't want the user to control switching. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this fully. Um, again, this is, we were given slides and I'm like, what? Okay. Cool. So we All need right. to do that with our, with our so combat. I saw a bunch of tests. Uh, is it again a thing where? Yes. There's a specific test that isn't passing. Maybe that'll. Maybe we can no. Go there. I haven't. I haven't even gotten to the uh, to implementing the code or anything. Like for this okay. one, I have everything I've done so far, and then I started writing like what I know needs to be there. Okay. And then I was just getting confused about how best to do the state swapping and the context because I think what some of my problems are like I my brain doesn't agree with some of their phrasing and terminology like okay like context swapping states like it's it's a little it's so abstract and this this example isn't really helping me like of a music box um let's see uh public class music context private not playing music state okay so, so your has context a... has all the states that's what i understand so far okay and then a music state do playing music state and not playing music state inherit from music state i are they instance or yeah are they instances of music states 
I think so. Uh, private music state, music state. Uh, not playing music state. It is a music or state. Do they implement music state? I think they implement. Yeah, they music implement state music is state. Is an interface and yeah. playing music and not playing are they implement music state? Okay, cool. So, yeah, that makes sense. So then the context was a list of different states that there could be, and. Yeah a reference to a music state. So that's probably which state are we in? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Okay. So it sets the so, default one to not playing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then if, so then pressing play tells the music state to press play. And if you're in the not playing music state, then you change to the playing music state and if you're not then you play change to the not playing music state so okay so this is <laughs> this is an extremely complicated boolean yes yeah that's um, a good way of putting it yeah like okay but sure and so uh but the idea is you probably wouldn't use it for this specifically uh, or just this. If this was the only problem you were solving, then... Right. Yeah, okay. So then... So, so then here... Yeah? Here's their example. So now you're in main, and you set your music context, and then you play, uh -huh. and then it's just changing and telling you, like, I guess that's what this is supposed to... <laughs> this is so... These slides are so bad. <laughs> so... Uh user only knows the context decoupled from s the states so they don't so the see user the doesn't state directly see the states yeah yeah, yeah. or their or, or complexity yeah those ugly booleans okay <laughs> yeah so complex oh thank you so oh, yeah. much all right so play music so then they sh yeah they give us another example stop playing music which i assume is added back into um that's the context is this the context are we still in yeah we're in music context so they've added so they, in order to play music they set the state then they press play and to stop playing music they set the state then press play, play. this is i Wait, find this if you were i thought i thought the playing music state so if music state equals not playing music then it switches to the playing music state right yeah okay wait press play so, music state dot press play this is also where i was getting confused okay yeah so i thought so on this slide uh -huh. where line 11 it sets the state to the playing music state right and then it calls music state dot press play. Can you go back? Is that what happens in the other one? If no. it's the playing uh. music state, then let's see. Then it gets the playing music state dot press play gets called. And then it goes into the else. I don't. And then it switches to the not playing music state. So it seems like here, this pl press play method switches yeah. to the not playing music state by the end of the method. But the other okay. one, can you go forward two slides? This one, which I guess that if you were playing music and you hit the press play button, then that's what would happen. You would you would want to be in the not playing music state and the press play would have happened. But here press play is on the not playing music state. Can you go back two slides? Oh, okay, okay. And here it's on the playing music state. Right. So, so that seems music state is not playing. Different. Music state press play. Maybe if that 
It's Doesn't not matter. playing. Yeah, that uh, condition playing. on line 12 mm -hmm. is, is terrible. Yes. <laughs> they should do it the other way around. Right, right, right. Or at least I think that's a better thing to do. Right. Cut down on inverts, inversions as much as possible. Okay, so... So... Uh, so these methods are specifically for, like, I don't care what state I'm in, just make sure you... that after this method is done, I'm playing music. Okay. I think. Right. And right. Okay. That's okay. Line ten and line fifteen is once this is done, make sure that I'm that music is no longer playing music. Or okay, that makes the sense. Box or whatever. Right. Um. Okay. Usability with extra methods. So press play, press play, stop playing music, stop playing music, play music, play music. They're just showing you doing what you just did, I guess. Uh, okay. Cool. More uh, transition methods. <laughs> Context now there's could also have next state, previous state, set state. User should not use this or else you lose the decoupling, but another state could use this. Adds coupling. Okay. Random state. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like for a dice roll or something, I guess? Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. So, so all of the, 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 like, if I understand this correctly, we're supposed to... The user does none of this, and then you can use these other methods to make the states change from one to another as needed. Uh, and they're talking now, what if context doesn't know what state comes next? Uh, and you could say, okay, like states are responsible for state transition. And they're warning like, oh, that goes against our single responsibility principle, but sometimes you have to do it. It's like, okay. And so this is their example that's, like, hideous. But, yeah. What? Yeah, what, what is a responsibility exactly? So the responsibility is, like, the task or what your method is doing. So, like, if you have, like, try to make it so your methods only do one thing and they're as simple as possible. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think I I think I get what's going on here. Okay. Or I don't know. Maybe we can come back to these slides if if I yeah. if we need to. But that's the that's the general like idea. So Okay. That's this stuff. And then so now Code. with our with our hold on. Yeah. So with the with the assignment, our various states, we have power. Okay, hold on. I think I put them in under combat state. Nope. Combat state is what uses. Uh, hold on. Oh, it's context. That's right. Context. So we have attack combat state, defense combat state, inverse combat state, and then power combat state, and then traditional combat state. Okay. And then by default, I know I want to, I think I want to use traditional combat state. And like, I understand using, um, like the logic to. They didn't say? No, well, all we've been given for our instructions, hold on. Yeah. Is the, this here. So each state should have a fight method that takes in two warriors. The first is the attacker, and the second is the defender. The method should return the winning warrior. So I think that's what I had started to put here. Just like, I know this this isn't right, but that's the logic that we have. We have, uh, it's going to return a warrior, fight you put in the attacker, and the defender, they're both warrior classes. It's going to return, at the end, uh, a warrior. Um, but then the logic of that is going to be overridden in i think each of these okay so you were just looking at combat dot java 
I think that's what I had. Yeah. And this is what I had. Dual. Uh, okay. So that's that's our dual. Sorry. I, uh, oh, combat is concrete. Combat and... context. That that was the one that I had for the different attack states. Uh yeah. Um, but then you opened up for the attacker and the defender. Yes. Um. Okay. So. Oh, here's combat state has fight. And yeah, it's, it's abstract. Okay. Yeah, they had said. Uh, and so or, some yeah. stuff inherits or implements combat state. Yes, each state All should have a fight method that takes in two warriors. So the fight these. method. Correct. Yeah. And I put where did I put the fight? I put that in combat state. Yeah, so I have fight in combat state because that's my abstract class. Okay. Um, and then, hold on. Um, I understand calling these to get the calculated power and like all of this stupid stuff. Um. But then, okay, so combat is the user of the state pattern. Combat should have a dual method. And so I put that in. That takes the two warriors. The first is the attacker, and the second is the defender. So go through each of the five states. This is where I start to get confused. Uh, so I guess my logic for state switching is just, like, do this, then this, then this. Uh, the warrior that wins the most of the five fights is the winner. The method should return the winning warrior. Um. Combat is the user of the state pattern. Combat should have a dual method that takes in two warriors. First is the attacker, and the second is the defender. Go through each of the five states. Power, uh, states. Power, attack, defense, traditional, inverse. Go through each of the five states. The warrior that wins the most of the five states is the winner. The method should return the winning warrior. Uh, is there like a, and what is the order of the different states? Power, if the attacker, if the attacker's calculated power is greater than d the defender's calculated power, the attacker wins. Defender wins on ties. Attack, if the attacker's calculated attack is greater than the attacker wins. Defender wins on ties. You're just you're comparing values five times, and then the the bigger value of, like, the one who wins the most is then, like, the order won't matter because you're not actually changing, like, they're, you're not changing any values, you're just comparing them. Okay, but I, I think of states as, maybe oh, they like, don't use the term this way, but, like, the, the order state, matters. Like, yeah, there's transitions from yeah. one state to another. Right, right. And if they're asking you to go through all five of them, I'm assuming right. there's, like, you start at the first state, whatever one that is, and then transition from that one to the next one, and then and so on until you get to the to the last state. But they don't, I right. don't see any indication of which one is the first one or the last one or how do you go from state to state. That's where and I was starting to get. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So I does it even matter? <laughs> I guess this is for random state. Like, pick one. Uh, no. So, <laughs> yeah, it might be like that. Um, the uh, playing music thing 
they had a transition from every state to every state. Um, yeah. So if you were uh -huh. playing, you could transition to not playing or to playing. And if you were not playing, right. you could transition to playing or not playing. Um, so, yeah, maybe they want you to just set the state to power and then do the attack. Hi. Okay. A distraction. <laughs> hey, that's a cat's number one job. Yeah. He's doing a great job. Um so that's my current guess. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um just yeah, start with power and then do a fight, I guess. And then keep track of which one won. I guess you could uh when they fight it returns which one of them won. Correct. Yeah. I I have mindset to 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 do that, but I mean okay. I could do anything, I guess. So in duel you could set the state to um power fight uh and then i guess you would have to do something like winner equals uh fight attacker defender and then right right if uh i don't know you could have like winner count int winner count equals oops zero and then this seems weird but maybe this is what they want e if winner equals attacker then uh, attacker dot uh, attacker count uh, I guess this should be Oh, okay, like attacker winner count and then defender. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, this feels weird. That's what, like, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, this seems so me messier. <laughs> and then you just, like, do that for all the different states. Uh, go to next state and then at the very end you say something like if attacker count is less than defender count then uh return defender this returns uh, a warrior yeah so and but that yeah that that sure doesn't seem right um, um, I don't know. Yeah, that's my current, like... S for, like, the, the logic? Best guess, yeah. I just, like, so, so... So then I'm using the states to just, um, I don't even know. <laughs> like, what is the, so, so is, are the states like meant here. to then, uh, change the math of, um, cause, cause each one of these attacking states, right? Like power or whatever, they have slightly different logic for determining who is the winner versus the loser. So... Yeah. So then within them, I am overriding my, uh, not dual. Well, am I? No, I'm not overriding my dual logic. I'm overriding my fight. 
method, I think. I guess. I don't know. This it's this like I'm having a hard time uh wrapping my my head around it. Hold on. Um so let's see. So combat state does have a fight method and it's abstract. So yes, they all of the other states right uh which don't yet exist no they don't they don't exist yet oh okay they so, i just started i just started putting them in yeah yeah okay so all of the other states will have their own fight method um and that means that in combat you'll have to have something that keeps track of what state you are in okay but is that does that go against the thing? Is is combat did, not supposed to know what state is currently? Active? They not that you can. They were saying like you can. Uh, you can choose whose responsibility it is to switch cases. State pattern is complex. Yeah. Many choices. Whose responsibility to switch states? Context or states? So the context is the thing that's supposed to... It knows the states, right? That's my understanding. Know all the states. So maybe the context... Uh, so, yeah, maybe the context can... Because I had it just... To, okay, I'm going to set my initial state, and then I was, then I was the like... context, yeah. Oh, go ahead. I, I wasn't sure. Yeah. The context can set initial state and set uh, transitions between them and then uh, something like that where so it'll say which state is the start state and then once a duel happens how does it go to the next state and then something uh yeah so you have here you're setting the initial state so mm -hmm. so then i guess it's up to the combat context right to say have like a fight method and then you just call it five times and it will take care of transitioning from one state to the other so in here you could have a warrior fight warrior attacker Defender. Uh, and then, depending on state, figure out winner and transition to next state or some definition of next. And then uh, up here, you would just call fight. And then here, this would keep track of what the current state is. So combat would just call fight. The user would just call fight. And then the context would keep track of what the current state is and transition to the next state and also return who won the fight, I guess. Mm hmm. Um,. And then the need, so here you could just repeat this five times. Um, just repeat that five times. Yeah. So you would call fight. Oh, okay. And fight okay. Knows what state it's in, so it will do the job of making sure that it hits all the different kinds of fights. Uh, or what are they called? States. Okay. Um, I guess. And I guess if you're doing that, you could do something like, 
uh, I don't know, attacker win count. Right. And then here you could do uh, attacker win count plus plus, and then attacker win count minus minus. And then if you did this whole thing in a loop, this whole thing in a loop, then you could just check when you get down here, uh, attacker win count less than zero, then you do something, return defender, otherwise return attacker, uh, less than or equal to, I think. Something along these lines. And this fight right here is huh? moving from one state to the next. So that's why it's not just doing the exact same thing five times. Each time you call fight, it but sets it up so that the next time you call fight, it will something do the next icy. kind of fight. Uh, okay. Again, this is like kind of I'm not sure. I yeah, wouldn't be too no, surprised no, I to find out that this is not what they had in mind. Attacker um, win count. Okay, hold on. Win count. Yeah. Just... And so rather than keeping track of how many times the attacker won and and the, have a different variable for how many times the, the defender win, you can just go add one to some counter Right. Uh, when one person wins and subtract one, one when the other person wins, and then check whether you're positive or negative. Positive or negative, and then return the value. Yeah, the, got it. If you're negative, it's defender. Otherwise, yeah. Yep. Is it helpful to um, see me in the corner? Does that, like... It doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything. Like, it, yeah, it, I would say it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I can, like... <laughs> literally point to stuff. <laughs> the window is not super high, so... Yeah. I'm covering up some of the text. So it might uh, actually not, hurt a little bit. It's not bad. Bit. It's not bad, I mean. Cool. So, okay. So then when it comes to the transition from state to state... That's done within fight, which within is combat context. Within here, fight. Depending on the state, figure out winner. Figure out winner, and independent of the winner, you can transition to the next state. Right, because it needs to. It has to return. So right, so it has to return, but then it needs to also change the state for the next fight. Yeah. So the winner, who wins, depend like how you figure out who wins depends on what uh, state you're in, mm -hmm. and it also determines what state you transition to, um, and you need to figure out what state you're, what who the winner is, and then transition, and then return the winner, so that the next time you call fight, you'll be in that next state. Right, like the playing and stopping of music. Okay. Yeah. It just so happens that uh, the monitor that I have for the where the code actually is is off to my right. And yeah. And so when I look at the code, the overlay down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, you're code. looking at the code. <laughs> that is not on purpose, but it worked out. Added value. Okay. Um, and this figuring out who the winner is, uh, I feel like, uh, maybe there can be a fight method in each one of several different classes that will make it so that the logic for that is spread out 
across different classes mm -hmm. rather than in here saying okay if I uh, if state zero then do some logic otherwise if state is equal to one and so on and so forth um, rather than having all of that logic right here um, it seems like it would make sense to have that logic in each of the various classes so then i guess i'm not sure which classes <laughs> maybe the state so then, yes so then i guess that's my next question is that these attack combat states that we create yeah are these then their own classes uh yeah i think so so the yeah, we would need to make an attack combat state. Um, attack. Yeah, there is no. So we would need to make this class. Right. And have it uh, extend or implement. Extend. Yeah. Is yeah. it a? It's an abstract class. Uh. Combat state. It can be whatever we want it to be, but since it has to. Yeah. Have a method. Hold on, I'm, I'm thinking. I, I think we want it to be abstract. What is it uh, in is that, is the, that all it's doing? the slide? Is in the, the default slide. or the parent state? Is it a interface? It might be an interface. Oh, music uh, it's state. Interface. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's an interface. Okay, that makes okay. Sense okay. To me, uh, because then you wouldn't need to say winner equals null here. I see. Right. Implementation. That makes you sense, just don't actually. Have an implementation. Right. You just instead have you just define it. You just say that there is such a method. Okay. Uh so public interface. And then Was it mad at me? Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, no. Combat state. Ooh, I wonder if I can do. Do you see me now? Do I see you now? Yeah. Uh, when Did you I click off, away? you went away. You're invisible. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's cool. So I can bring myself hide. in or hide. Yeah. 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 With the layers, you can do a lot. It's cool. It's a great piece of software. Um. Very cool. Um, okay. I'm hiding myself because I, uh, <laughs> I'm i going to make some uh, salad and then start eating. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Go for it. Cool.
Uh, which one is this? It's attack. So I think this one is if. Get attack. I think that's our get attack. I need to remember to eat this salad like the day that I get it. it goes... that's, okay, that's that's the problem with salad, right? Like you always buy it, and then if you don't eat it right away, it's just trash, and you're like, oh my god, I failed. <laughs> That's always what happens. You're like, oh. But I think that's why in a lot of places, uh, like the the street markets, and you go and you get your like groceries like more regularly instead of like doing big runs. Yeah. That helps a lot. Like I I do since we're I can like walk down the street to to get where we get produce. That's nice. what, like I do like maybe every couple of days you go and buy like fresh produce, and then it doesn't go bad. I do. Um... I get uh bags of uh like leaves. <laughs> and I love the leaf bags, yeah. Yeah. They last they last all right, but this uh like pre-made salad thing doesn't last very long. Got it. I used to get uh strawberries, but I stopped because they would go bad. They'd like I, on a few occasions, got strawberries, and when I got home, I noticed uh, it was, like, moldy. Like, in the, it must have been moldy in the store. Ugh. Yeah. So I just don't get strawberries anymore, even though I like them. That's too bad. Yeah, uh... it's super frustrating. Also, wham, my life is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> my strawberries are going. <laughs> You know what? These are good problems to have. I'll take that. They're pretty good problems. Oh, are you going to cry a little? You didn't get strawberries, your favorite fruit? My you have favorite. Some I only other eat... kind of fruit that's not as good. Oh, that sucks only... for you. I only got to eat two strawberries and the rest got moldy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Just eat the mold. It's fine. Oh. It's so stupid, but some people literally eat flies. Oh no! Even better in uh, Haiti, I think it's Haiti. They eat literal mud pies. Uh, oh wow! Wait, what? Yeah, is that... yeah. You can look it up. My husband, my husband is on like YouTube, and like I swear to God, he just like reads Wikipedia as a hobby. So he's full you... of all these bizarre <laughs> facts and information, and uh, they mix. They they like mix water and mud and then bake it out in the sun and then eat it uh what nutritional yeah, content is there no it's horrible it is not oh, good see. they keep trying to tell like especially pregnant women stop eating the mud pies like it's oh, bad geez. for you so yeah. i guess it's like it fills your stomach so it Correct. feels like Correct. something yeah yeah he was oh, talking about that's that awful. he was like uh yeah, he was saying, uh, yeah, the Haitians and their mud pies. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? What? Uh... Um, oh, no, no, no. Uh, do you do... Uh, I'm going to go back to the PDF. Um, so if the attacker... Uh... Okay, so this, yes. this fight method just determines who wins. It doesn't change... <laughs> anything the in the fighter right right, right. yeah so then, i think so could you just do could you short cert like instead of saving who won to a variable and then later returning that could just you just return return yeah in, in there that's 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 where i was going i was like what am i doing let's return after So, um, so for which one are we doing? Attack, I was doing combat attack, state. combat okay, so attack, state. combat state. If the attacker's calculated oh, attack calculated, is greater than, uh, oh, is there like a calculate yes. attack? Oh, I see. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. So, 
if this is greater than, and I like always using less than. Yeah, so the big one on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Defender. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I like just all. Yes. I never have to think of which order I'm going to put them in. I just always do it this way. Um, so if this is true, uh, then the attacker wins. We return attacker, and then. Then otherwise, you can return the defender. And well, you don't need to. Oh, okay, because it's, be only... it's the other one. Assuming Return. this is um, numerical, and yes. so this comparison can only ever be less than or equal or greater than. I think that is true. I remember what we were calculating before. Um... It's calculated attack, right? Calculated attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then... I mean, this is like so... Uh, whatever. This is tedious. <laughs> That's okay. That's what this class is. That's okay. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I'm eating green things and i have a green screen ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> we're children we're like this is so good <laughs> look i'm eating the void oh. <laughs> i like as soon as you did it it's just like this is perfect <laughs> it's so good that's great i should i should eat green stuff more often <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna get like a bunch of like uh of of green foods. Yeah. Green smoothies and be like, look what I can do. <laughs> Quality content uh, for my channel. This is it's perfect. Uh they they make these like arguments that like, oh, we're reducing repetitive code and I'm like, you're just, <laughs> <laughs> I just it makes me so mad. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> The hell yeah, you like, are. And then and then and then the other thing we're doing it doing is we're like nesting it in all these different places. So like yep. I feel like then now everything the logic becomes is scattered everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and then it's also isolated. It's like, wait, what was I looking at? How does this can and I can just see how this can like blow up and get so ugly so fast. Yep. However, I do see like given a big enough project where it does save labor, like I get it, but it's just Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This is, uh, I think this is a, a common, like a reoccurring problem in, um, probably in computer science, like as a whole, yeah. probably in other fields too, where like you want, when you introduce a new idea, like uh, whatever yeah. pattern, then you want to do like a really simple thing so that it's not, so that like it, you can actually potentially understand what's going on. But then also, it's like so simple that y you wouldn't actually do it this way. You would use some easier method. Uh huh. Right. That okay. was my OBS yeah. window slightly <laughs> covering the bottom. That's fun. We are we are so easily entertained. They, they wow. Even have <laughs> They have streamers who will they'll do stuff like that, but then yeah. they start like singing and, and trying to harmonize with themselves and Whoa. like it goes crazy real fast. And I'm like, this is the dumbest video. Like, why am I enjoying this? This is just rotting my brain. <laughs> I've seen um uh what's uh Imogen Heap, she did just for now yeah. and she yeah. uh live you've seen that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's pretty high quality. I like that one. But yeah, I could see uh just screwing around quality too yeah i mean why not okay so i've done defense combat attack combat let's go to my other combats i'm gonna combat. not actually eh i i guess i can uh <laughs> i was gonna say that I'm, I'm gonna not actually just do the tedious repeating of every single different version there is but 
I might as well. I'm not doing anything else right now. Um, and also, if I have more of the code made, I yeah. might be able to help better if something goes wrong. That makes sense. That um, makes sense. Did I First combat scene. not actually hit save? In? Ah, I didn't. Okay. The attacker's calculated defense. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory. There we go. Calculated attack. Okay. The attacker's calculated defense is greater than the defender's calculated attack. Return attacker. So it's always wait 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 if the attacker's calculated defense yes i have that is greater than defender's calculated attack the attacker wins the attacker wins on ties okay i wonder if uh you could just call one of the other ones from oh sneaky i'm gonna i'm gonna not do that i'm just gonna explicitly do every single one yeah 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 that makes sense um let's see so power is there a calculate power Probably. Blah. Then the attacker wins. Okay, cool. Um, Can I do a less than or equal to? Uh, yeah. My brain's like dead. Okay. Yeah, that looks like this. Like this, right? Yeah, okay, just making sure. I'm like, is that only okay in Python? Like, I've been in a lot of <laughs> Python, and I'm like, am I breaking Java? Okay. Okay, that that should work for that logic. Okay, okay, okay. Verse. Really? Okay, fine. Defender wins on ties. Oh, that's what you were just doing. Or wait. For which one? I did inverse. Uh, what is this one? This is. So, uh, for the inverse, uh, I, I think you were just state. Oh shoot, I didn't change. The yeah, if you didn't name, change the names, it's gonna be mad at you. Uh oh, it sure is. Uh -oh. Um, I already did power. Need to change that one. I see ugly power. Um, Okay. So power calculates power. Attack calculates attack. Traditional calculate attack. Attack. If then the defender wins on ties. Oh, I think I messed up defense. Defender wins on ties. Okay. Uh, Attacker. Traditional calculate attack. Attacker wins. Defender wins on ties. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Inverse. I think inverse is the only one that has the less than equal to case. And calculate. 
calculated attack. Okay, cool. Uh, wait. If the attacker's calculated, wait, inverse calculated defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have, let's make sure. Is it defense? Yeah. Oh, I'm on traditional. Be... Is... I'm on uh, Kelsey. Uh, inverse is defense. Okay, Tr inverse. Yes, calculated defense. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay, defenders. Oh, God. Defenders, calculated attack. I have that. And then the attacker's calculated defense. Yeah, okay. I, I have that. If the attacker's calculated defense is greater than the defender's calculated attack. Oh. Wait, okay. So. So the attacker's calculated defense is the big one. Yeah, 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 yeah. For it's, it's like, it's backwards of the traditional, I think. Oh, maybe that's why, let's see, calculated attack, need defense. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, I, did, I, I just kind of skimmed it, and I didn't notice that these two, the attack, attack, it, defense, yeah. defense, attack, right, right, defense. Right. I just skimmed yeah. right over that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm okay, thinking so like gamer, so no. If I'm the kidding. attack's <laughs> defense is greater than the defender's attack, yeah. the yeah, attacker yeah. wins. Attacker wins on ties. So if it's greater or equal than yes. the attacker. Okay, cool. Yes, so yes. That, that was that was the I tricky need one. To do traditional here. It's traditional attacks. Let's see. If the attacker's attack, attacker's attack is Attackers attack, defenders defense. Oh, 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 that's good. I need to fix that. Defense. defense. Uh, the attacker wins, defender wins on ties. Okay, cool. I think. Under defense, attacker attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I think it is done now. I probably have typos. I probably can't compile this, so. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, actually, uh, I might be able to compile just this folder. I probably won't be able to run the tests, though. Yeah, we tried to do that before. I yeah. don't expect you to run the test. They're like, I have, I, I have, you have to do like a whole thing. Um, oh, well, okay. So this pseudocode doesn't compile, <laughs> which is fine. Okay. Uh, you can't just say loop. Um, I'll just do for int, uh, Oops. Okay. So that was that one, and then combat context. Um, what did it not like? Close parenthesis, or sorry, open parenthesis or open curly bracket expected. Uh, public. Oh, here. Ah. Uh. Traditional combat state. Oh, is it capitalized? Yeah, we did capitalize it. Uh, winner equals combat context. Oh, uh... Cannot run this anymore. Right. Um... So I guess we need to make one of those. Oops. Context. Uh, this is in combat. Okay, hold on. Let me jump into combat.
Woohoo, oh, it yeah. compiles. It definitely doesn't do the right thing, but it compiles. <laughs> that's all the that that's a milestone, so. Okay, so then we do for this. Okay. Topic. Non-static method. So make it static. Is that what I did? Uh, no. You want to use the. Uh, I use capital. I use capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, "What did I do?" Okay. If winner dot equals attacker. Okay. We increase it. Yeah, this part feels a little weird, but uh, it's not obvious to me that there's something that is better than this. Right, right. And this goes into, oh my goodness. Like we keep like this this is like the one class where they like require us to use this um this specific ID and it's got all its own um okay so if my attacker win count is less than or equal to zero uh then my winner I guess return winner or return attacker Wait, wait, wait. Winner equals that. So if the attacker wins a negative number of times, then the defender won. Oh, okay. Return defender. Right. Um, the warrior that wins the most of the five fights is the winner. Yeah. Okay. So this uh, equals... Okay. Should not happen because there will be an odd number. Odd of number. Pluses or minuses. Okay. Plusings or minusings. <laughs> so. So this. This is. I'm going to call this a. Dual. If I can spell it right, I'm going to call this dual winner. Uh, just because this is different from the combat winners for my brain. And they're fighting. They're still fighting. Okay, okay, okay. And if every iteration you had them do two fights, then uh -huh. you would have a dual duel. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are we going with that? <laughs> you got me, man. You got me. Oh, oh man. Okay. Okay, this logic makes sense. Um... I also don't know another way. So then for my for my state control that we have to add in. Um oh yeah, so the state control is this is definitely wrong, but this is where it would go. Uh, we're in combat context. Depending on state. Yeah. Uh, if 
depending on state, figure out winner. So we are calling. Is, is this like, is it a series of if thens? Like, is is that what this is? Like, just a bunch of. Um. So we have a combat state. So we can do combat state dot fight attacker defender and then yeah i guess for the transition you would need to say or or you could have in each one of the combat states you could have a next state so you could say combat oh. state equals combat state dot next state okay and then then you just need to define this method in each of those five classes. Five? However many. Yes. Yeah, There's. I think there's five. And then I guess you would need to do winner is equal to that. And then here do winner. And winner must be a warrior. And I think you don't really need it yet. So it can be declared right here. Ooh, it's capital because it's a class. Maybe I'll call this fight winner is equal to this combat state fight. Okay, that makes that makes sense. Oh goodness. Then we do this. Okay. And so then within each state, all it knows is to change to whatever the next state. Mm -hmm. So like traditional can kick it to power, power can kick it to inverse, inverse kicks to defense. Well, yeah. I guess it matters. No, we started we started traditional. Whatever, yeah. Whatever this I, I would just do this order, like start with power. Start with power, um, okay. And then power goes to attack, just because that's the order that it is here. So um, because they didn't tell you an order, and because this is an order that you can easily reference. So then, within combat state, I would also have another method that's called next state. Next state. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Because that's so. I have to put it there if I'm if I'm swapping right. Um, yeah, so public combat state. That's a good point. You do need that. Uh, next. Next state, right. State that should exist. Yeah. Uh, so then power needs to have one of those. Pub uh, did I say what the visibility was? I did. Okay, cool. Public. And oops. Um. So this is where we would do. Um. Maybe you would do this. Is You'd it be a creating a brand new state every time. Is it like combat state or attack? What did I oh, call it? What is? Uh, I don't I know. I think it I might don't. be attack combat state. Um, which is like so long and combat stupid. state. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you create a new attack combat state. Yep. Okay. And then we go to attack. Uh, and then defense, combat state. See all the code that is not being repeated? <laughs> Stop making me laugh. It's so bad. <laughs> I just 
feel like are we like gaslighting each other collectively? It's okay. We just believe it's better. Defense. <laughs> yeah. Are we in a emperor has no clothes situation? <laughs> yes. I mean that's fine. I'm defense combat state. Okay. And then I guess uh inverse could go back to power. Public combat um, state next state. It does feel a little bit weird to create a brand new state every single time. I would think that you would want to create Copy. one instance of every single state. Yeah. Um. So maybe to... you could do a singleton pattern for these things. Uh, right. I think the code will work like this. Hmm. Um, it'll just be using up some memory that it doesn't really need to. Necessarily need to. Need to. Yeah. Right, right, right. But this is Java anyway, so... <laughs> waste, waste, <laughs> waste, waste. away. <laughs> waste, waste, waste. Uh, especially if it looks like you're doing more. Oh, yes. We are... Yeah. You're Did succeeding. You, uh, was it the guy who made Pearl, uh, Larry Wall, described Java, um... As it feels like you're accomplishing a lot in the same way that uh, eating leather might feel like you're accomplishing oh my a lot. God, that's so perfect. <laughs> like, yes, it's a lot of work, but why? <laughs> and he, he uh, contrasted it with uh, some other language that he said was like eating steak. <laughs> oh, that's really delicious. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah. He, he nailed it. Nailed it did it. feel that way, yeah. And then we end with inverse going back to power, right? Power speed. That's what I did. Uh, that, that makes sense. It's got to return something because it's in right. the abstract thing. So it's 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 in our. Um... I suppose it could return null, and then your loop could be just keep going until your state until is it's null. null. Oh yeah. wait, no, but. When the the loop doesn't know what state it's in, so never mind. That's right. That's that's a good um, point. That's a good point. Where was that? Here. I think that's in our yeah. combat context. Is so it this, or it's in combat? I guess. Uh. So combat context. Oh. Hmm. We've made a new combat context. Okay. So combat context. And then when we Is call combat context, combat context, we have it initiate with a traditional combat state. I combat think. state, yeah. So, so, um, so then it doesn't matter what state. If you make it circular, it doesn't matter what state you start in. It'll, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll get there eventually, the right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we keep track of what the state is. In right. The context so it doesn't matter that we're always creating a brand new one here uh, we don't have some kind of issue where we knew what the state was in here somewhere and then we relied on that somehow so right uh, and that is actually one of the touted benefits hey look at that hey. decoupling <laughs> decoupling oh my goodness what is it yelling at me about now <laughs> new combat context uh you need to make a oh i don't know where where Boy is that set up this is my test file my combat test i did include the files so if you want to look at them you can uh but i know you won't be able to run them so it's saying uh setup combat equals new combat oh so when they when they do new combat when they use their constructor, it needs to take in a combat context. Oh, okay. Uh... I don't declare that. It's, yeah, so so it would be... Okay, then we might run into issues. Um... Yeah. Gross. Okay, so okay. combat needs to have a constructor. Yes. Whoops, combat test. Okay, so combat needs to have a constructor. Yeah. Uh, okay, public combat. It takes in a combat context. Com
combat context and it does something with it. I guess we could make like, this be a class variable and do combat context equals combat context. And here it looks like combat context has a an empty constructor. So that one's OK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, OK, so far, so good. What's what's the next issue with the tests? We'll find out. I will run. Everything passes. Yay, we're done. <laughs> uh. I could set this up so they like run all at once, but I'm, I'm oh, this one's OK. Oh, wait, <laughs> I know, those are going to be OK. I know these are OK because it's old code. Uh, I have to do this one. This this is the test. Oh, gosh. Yay. Yay. Now we're done. That's it. I give up. <laughs> OK. This makes oh, me nervous. Maybe we should do a shot every time. No. <laughs> I know those are okay. It's just these combat tests. Did we mess up the inverse? No, no we we did it. We're not idiots. Yay. Well. Yeah, that's true. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in this one moment, we're not idiots. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Actually, everything passed. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is this, to me. This is so stupid. But um, okay. I guess. All right. Um, I hope eventually the teacher tells you about like what the intended solution was to that one thing we did like two weeks ago. Dude, I sent him another email and he told me he was going to take another look at it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He might. He, the thing is right now, I know he's grading. Like, I know he's grading. All. Yeah. No, no, the, no. Well, I, I guess I don't know. Is it the end of whatever term you have? It's yes, kind of, it's, it's like June. What, what, yeah. what are you doing? So, this is this is this is technically finals week graduation for anyone who finishes they walk tomorrow wednesday which is insane because they're not done grading yet uh oh, wow. but whatever so they might walk and then not actually get a yeah, <laughs> diploma that could totally <laughs> happen isn't that insane that like if you have a large enough sample yeah that that definitely happened at some point definitely has 100 percent. and that i bet but the one it's a private school and they do not like letting their faculty fail people. Um, since I work for faculty, I know this is like a constant problem. I see. Uh, which is interesting. Yeah. But sometimes they're like, I really need to fail this kid, but private schools my... mean like tons of money. So yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend is teaching at a high school and there's like mm. a student that has literally just not shown up the entire year and what how do i not fail this student what what do you mean i can't I, then who would i fail dude, no, no one, education is so broken right now my little it's, sister is a high school teacher or she's a junior high teacher and they have the same thing so so broken it's so bad and then my my little brother is a he does a he's like a calculus and econ and whatever tutor Okay. Um, I come from a family of teachers, right? Like, uh, yeah. But he. That's cool. He uh, he's saying that the t the kids have all figured out the scam, which is they on test days they don't show up. Uh, they're absent. They, okay. Then when they come back, they claim that the test is giving them anxiety and they're freaking out and everything. And because uh -huh. there's such a thing, a stigma and a concern about mental health among students right now. The teachers eventually let them retake the test, and they just like you can use notes, do whatever. Uh, I see. So and get, also, like, in... other people have taken it by now, so they yeah, have a but copy guess of what? it. They're so checked out, and they're so behind with like education standards. They still can't pass the test, even Jeez. with like infinite time and like like the answers there. They still yeah, fail. That that kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't know if I would have been able to like come up with that without hearing it, but like hearing it, it makes me think of like, well, if you weren't motivated enough to study this stuff exactly ahead of time, or like the, yeah. the allotted time, then yeah, you're not going to suddenly be motivated after. 
it's like that thing with like sometimes with procrastination you don't really need more time because you're the more time you get it's the more time you're still not going to do anything yeah you just you're missing the motivation right like exactly like what you said um so that's why you start setting deadlines that you know you can't actually meet Uh, yeah (laughs) just be okay with not actually meeting the deadline but work because you set the deadline but it's it's apparently really bad right now and they have the same problem where like uh nobody's like allowed to fail so yeah but we're we're in finals week he's grading and so i know he'll circle back to it um what is your motivation you seem to be motivated despite i love learning these loopholes yeah. <laughs> I just I like learning. I'm 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 a nerd. I love I love uh I like reading. And then the like learning and building skills makes me feel better, right? Yeah. That like makes sense. if you if you sit and like like I've I've I like I'll binge on media, right? You like watch a whole Netflix show or you do something like that and you're like, "Oh, well that that was something." But then if I sit and I like learn and I'm growing, uh that feels so much better, right? It's like like tv it's an entertainment thing almost kind of uh it's just uh as i've gotten older i think i find i'm much happier when i'm building skills in some way so it's yeah. either picking up new software or i'm gonna do something different and then as i've gotten older in work um i want to pivot to like a more technical job where yeah. i can like really dig into content and like apply my passion for research and learning and like get paid to do that rather than just doing like i don't know like random i I like the the technical know-how okay Uh, cool but i just think like i've always loved reading and like a lot of learning requires reading so it kind of works out so yeah that's true it's a good skill to have do you have um more java stuff to do did we did we do it we we did it we did. we did it. That was it. I can't believe it. Okay. Uh, well, I guess. Um, do the you only the the only question I have or? are there. Well, before we end early, are there? Yeah. Can you think of any other examples where, like, like this state swapping makes more sense? I guess. I mean, uh, I can I can kind of see it now in. In some of what we did, um, um, so in robotics, there's state machines for control of like if you mm-hmm. if you have a remote control on a really simple robot that has uh, I don't know, um, a series of actions that it's supposed to do, um, I. You you could even have even if it doesn't have remote control, you could still have a series of like states that uh, represent different tasks that it's supposed to accomplish. Like maybe it's supposed to uh, you want a high level goal of going in a square, and then you have a state of uh, okay drawing one side of the square, and then the next state is uh, turning for the corner, and then the next state is um. Well, actually, you could just have those two states and then repeat them. And then repeat them, yeah. Um, and maybe that would be something you could use this to do. Um, usually right. when I do that, I have like a single thing, a variable that is the uh, what is my current state variable. Um, I right. don't have this stuff. And then I have somewhere in the code like an if uh, or a case that says, okay, so depending on what state I'm currently in and what, uh, then I'll check various things like, is this button pressed or something? Um, right. And then depending on that, I will transition to a different state. Um, and that's one area of the code is determining, okay, given the state that I'm in and the state of various like buttons and stuff, um, what state should I go to? And right. then a completely separate area of the code says, okay, given that I'm in whatever state, what actions, like what motor should I turn on or whatever? Okay, okay. Um, and uh, you can accomplish things like uh, 
if you set your robot up on a playing field and you know that uh, the it's laid out in a certain way, there's like zones or something, then you can go forwards until you get into one zone and then go backwards to this other zone that you already rolled over and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, yep. So that uh, seems like this could address that same idea. Like, how do you separate out the code that's responsible for actually doing something versus the code for determining what state to go to? Yeah, um, okay. It's definitely a lot better than the approach of trying to just write the code, <laughs> like do it all in main type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, okay, uh, now I need to, oh, but what if I was just over here? Okay, the motors, uh, there's so many different things that I need to think about <laughs> when I'm writing the code. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, that yeah. that kind of makes sense, though. The I like the, the example of the, the turning square. Yeah. and doing the square motion. Like, that, that kind of makes more sense. Yeah, I um, like that one, too, um, because it... Uh, it ends up being a very simple algorithm to go yeah. in a square, <laughs> yeah. go straight, yeah. turn, and then repeat. Um, and that's enough. It'll go in a square. <laughs> uh, depending yeah, on how good how... your uh, turn calculator is. That's a good um, point. Yeah. I had, uh, so I had um, a thing... I. Before the the pandemic, I would teach people in person, and we would make robots. And oh, that's um, cool. That was one of the projects that we would do, and they would uh, just let the robot start turning and uh, count ten turns and see how long that took, and then use some math to figure out okay, how long does it take to turn a quarter of a circle? Oh. Yeah. Um, and then we. Uh, could talk about like battery power over time drops, so it turns out it takes a little bit longer. To, uh, yeah. So if you want to be more accurate, then you have to think about uh, that some some way to address it. Um, yep, good stuff. Um, all right. Well, then. Uh. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm curious about your, uh, you had a brother that was doing math. Although I've heard that math yeah. chat GPT isn't as good at. Um, no. It, his, so maybe okay. he's not losing students. No, he's not. So his comment is his students, he's like, my students are so clueless. They can't, like, he they even shows even them. Use... <laughs> yeah, he shows them how to use it. Like, he, oh, he was telling me. He's like he brought up ChatGPT and he was talking them through it, and then he's even shown them like Wolfram Alpha and stuff, and he yeah. shows them these tools, and he's explaining like here I'm sh this is how you can use it to help you on your homework, and they like they just don't get it, and he's like yeah, and they they even tell him like oh you're gonna lose your job, and he's like can you <laughs> like use this to solve the next problem, and then he's like oh, and he's like exactly, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he's just like. <laughs> he does he does high school mostly mostly I high see. school students sometimes college but yeah yeah the uh the students that i have uh are in a similar situation either that yeah. or or like you where it's like also questions that chat gpt isn't very good at like Bingo. Well, uh, how That's should i, I design the higher level thing of like where should yeah. this code go what um, what I do like about ChatGPT is like when it comes from like almost interacting with documentation and then yeah. like that can be helpful or having it show me some examples, but it, I've noticed it's terrible with math. Like it's just, yeah, it tries and I'm like, uh, do no. You, uh, <laughs> do you know the basic idea of how it works? Yeah, yeah. We oh, okay. we also talked about it in my, um, my NLP class that I'm taking. Oh, uh, cool. So we, we we did a little bit like that was in our main focus, but what we did have like a little bit of a section where we we like we were going into some of the research papers and talking about it and how it compares to some other stuff. But awesome. Um, but I found I found that class that class was awesome. Um, a lot of work though. Uh, yeah. That's that's part of why I'm so like fried. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but right. um. We did we did like hugging face um a lot of those pre-built and pre-trained um autoencoders 
Okay. Um, but their their documentation is really nice, and they've got like a ton of information. Um, so if you ever want to like take a look at that, that's a good rabbit hole to fall into. Okay. All right, sounds good. Um. Yeah, with that, well, we're we'll all let you go. Have a great night. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, you too. Bye, um, Danny. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye.